In this short video, I'm gonna show you how you can export your GA4 data into Google Sheets. Let's dive in. Hey and welcome to the channel. My name is Leon. This channel exists to help you make better decisions in your daily work using your analytics data. If you like what I'm doing, please click the like and subscribe buttons down below. That would really help me get this channel off the ground and get my videos out to as many people as I can. Also, if you wanna watch more, there's a link in the video description to a playlist full of videos just like this. So today we're taking a look at exporting your GA4 data into Google Sheets. So let's dive into GA4. So I have my GA4 open right here. The easiest way of exporting your data is via the exploration report. Before this video, I put together an exploration report of some traffic sources. So I'm gonna open that up. So this is a very simple exploration report. The easiest way of exporting your data into Google Sheets is by going in the top right corner under export data and clicking Google Sheets. That will give you this notice. Would you like to import the data? And if you click import the data, it will give you just a blank Google Sheets document named after your exploration report and then with all the data in place. And one thing that I do often is I just go over all the columns and for instance, this bounce rate column, this needs to be a percentage and then it works fine. But sometimes you don't want to export an exploration report. You want to export a regular report because you're not so familiar with building your own exploration. So let's take the traffic acquisition report as an example. Usually I would go under this menu, I would go into a session source medium. That's my default way, my favorite way of looking at traffic sources. So I can see all the sources that I have. Let's say I wanna export this report into Google Sheets. Well, the process here is a little bit more advanced because I cannot export this directly into Google Sheets. What we need to do here is in the top right corner, I need to click share this report. And at the time of recording, we only have share link or download file. And under download file, I'm not gonna say PDF, but I'm gonna download a CSV file. And if I click that, it will bring it right into my downloads folder. From my downloads folder, I'm gonna bring it into the desktop. So it's right here. This is the file that I exported from my J4 report. So now that we've exported our GA4 report into a CSV file, let's look at how we can import that back into Google Sheets. But before we do that, I wanna tell you one thing that's really important when importing data. For instance, this number right here, 1500.50, this is how you would write it in the United States or United Kingdom, I believe. But in many other countries, the way this number would be written is like this. So the thousands separator and the decimal separator are inverted. Well, the important thing in Google Sheets is that you go under file and then under settings and then you check the language settings. For instance, if I import it in the Dutch language settings, it will not work because the way the CSV file is set up is that the thousand separator are a comma and the decimal separator are a dot. So I need to change this into United States, for instance, I need to save and reload. And now I can safely import my data into this worksheet. If your language settings are correct, you can go ahead and click file and then import. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna import this CSV file. I'm gonna say replace this current sheet because I already opened up a blank sheet and then detect automatically. And then I'm gonna say import data. And uh, of course, one last thing you could do here, for instance, with engagement rate is select the column and format this column into a percentage. All right, that's it for today. That's how you import your GA4 reports into Google Sheets. I hope this video was clear, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons. That would really help me get this channel off the ground. And of course, if you wanna watch more videos, there's a link in the video description to a playlist full of videos just like this. All right, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.